What's happening in the Milton real estate market? We're gonna get into that right now. The December numbers are in and what a year we had in Milton real estate. Our average price across all home types for 2021 in Milton was $1,072,281. That represents an almost 25% increase over the average home price in 2020 nothing short of remarkable. In 2020, we had a 15% increase over prices from 2019. And before that, we had not seen a double digit price increase in Milton since 2016 to 2017 year. We ended up with 2,924 sales, which is the most sales that we've seen in a single year. Here's a look at the five year numbers. Now I show you this because you may be asking yourself, everyone has said inventory is so low. There's no homes for sale. So how could we have the highest number of homes sold in a single year if there was no inventory? In fact, the number of new listings to come onto the Milton market was 3,774, which is actually up from last year. Since we've all been hearing there's an inventory issue, that would cause you to believe that there were actually less homes for sale, when in fact we had the most homes listed in a single year since 2018. The issue with the lack of inventory is that the demand is so high. There's simply not enough homes on the market to fulfill the demand. In 2021, most homes that we saw come to market were in multiple offer situations, anywhere from two or three offers. And in one case, in the beginning of the year, there was a home with 45 offers on it. And our average list price to sale price for 2021 averaged out across all home types at 106.6%. And that means that buyers on average were paying 6.6% more than the listed price. I've lived in Milton for 18 years and I've never seen a market like I saw in 2021. The price growth was so quick. I was working with clients in the beginning of the year that were looking for a town home and we lost out a few times on offers and very quickly they became priced out of the market. Townhomes started the year averaging around 850,000 and ended the year averaging over a million. Our team is so thankful that we were able to help 81 amazing people with their real estate needs last year. And we are so grateful that we were able to help our clients successfully buy and sell their homes. And the way we were able to help our clients be successful is we had to position them ahead of the market in our offering strategy. If you wanna learn more about working with us and our strategy for buying and selling homes, you can book a quick 30 minute appointment with us. There's a link below and we can have a one-on-one -on -one discussion, fast and easy. We also saw a lot of people moving to Milton from Toronto again in 2021. In fact, one of our most popular videos on our YouTube channel last year was a video that was made in October 2020 addressing just that, the migration from Toronto to Milton. It used to be that you could get a lot more bang for your buck, so to speak, if you were going to move to Milton from Toronto. In fact, that's precisely why we moved here from Toronto 18 years ago. We just couldn't get the size of home that we wanted in Toronto for the price that we could afford. Nowadays though, the prices have gone up well, 25% this year in Milton, so the spread isn't quite as dramatic, but you can still get a much newer home here in Milton with more space compared to living in the city. For more reasons on why Milton's a great place to live, I'll make sure I include a link to that video above. So 2021 was certainly one for the books, but what will we see in 2022? So hit that subscribe button now because our 2022 predictions video is coming in hot next week and you won't want to miss it. As always, thank you for being here. You can go ahead and follow us on Instagram. We're at Silver Birch Collective and we'd love to hear from you. What sort of videos do you want to see about Halton, Milton, Oakville real estate in 2022? We have some great ideas, but we love hearing from you. So put something in the comments below. Thanks so much and we'll see you next week.